just imagine this. You're building out a flow and you need to get the information about one single record. You create your list rows action and you go to use the one record you found when Power Automate throws your action into an apply to each and it feels like there's nothing you can do. Well, let me show you how you can avoid this right now. If you have spent any time building Power Automate flows that interact with Dataverse data, you will know that you will almost always, always use a list rows action. What this action does is it goes and looks in the database and finds any available records that meet the filtering criteria that you set. It's listing rows that meet this criteria. Oftentimes you may have to do this just to get information about one single record. And you can't utilize the get a row by ID action because you don't know that record's quid. Side note, you can limit the amount of rows that a list row action will pull back for you. So you could set this row limit to one, but nonetheless, it's still going to put your following actions into an apply to each. So how do we get rid of this? I am by no means an expert, but essentially the reason this is happening is because the output of the list rows action is an array. And regardless of how many records are in this array, if you wanna use a field in an array, Power Automate is going to force that into an apply to each. Fortunately, the solution is pretty easy and that is the first expression. This expression is going to take an array and contain only the first record within that array, which again, in our scenario, we're only finding one record anyways. The reason this is important is because the output of the first expression is no longer an array. So how do we write a first expression? Well, this here on screen is a template of sorts of the expression, which you can find in the video description down below if you'd like to copy and paste. But in order to understand it, I want to briefly explain the different components within this function. At the beginning, within the first expression, you can see that we have the values attribute of the action that is producing the array. Not to be confused with the body attribute, which I have made that mistake before. Assuming you're using a list rows action, this would be the name of your list rows action. Now at this point, you would be able to turn a list of records into just one singular record, but at this point, you're only halfway there. It's likely that from this record, you're realistically only needing one field. You are able to do this by adding a question mark after your first expression followed by the field's schema name within single quotes and square brackets. If you're confused, let me explain. I was in a situation where I needed to send an email to a system user, but that system user had to be found based off of certain criteria that that system user met. I used a list rows action to find the user in the system that met this criteria that I needed. And when I tried to add that user records email into a send an email action, it added that send an email action into an apply to each. This second half of the function, the question mark and the field allows me to only look at the email field of my singular user record as opposed to the entire record as a whole. Ultimately, all of this is to reduce the effectiveness and decrease the run times of Power Automate flows, ultimately making your system better. Another way to boost your flows is configuring the run after capabilities on your actions. In order to see how to set those, check out this video here. Thank you for seeing the end of the video. My name is Griffin Lickfeld, the host of Citizen Developer, and I'm excited to connect with you guys in the next one.